guess that means it's open. Right? Might have to do a little bit of stuff because I can't actually see the chat screen right now, but at least the game's open. The game's open. The game's open. Welcome to Mass Effect. Press any key. Oh wait, it's just called Mass Effect. Press any key was literally a Homer Simpson thing. Saving content. Uh, 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 I'm gonna have to read this. Hype train, I'll be on my computer for one hour. I'll have to read the rest. Give me one sec. Hype train, I'll be on my computer for one hour, then on my phone watching for the next few hours until I get home. I won't miss this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know you've been hyped for this for a little while. And so it begins. Hope everyone is ready. This is an epic journey. Yes, I can read my chat. It's not ideal, but it's doable. Apply, it's 720p. This is doable. We put everything on max, as always, and we're gonna jump into this. Start new career. Oh god, am I quitting my job already? Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Wouldn't be the first time. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay. So, due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Manually enter career info and physical stats into the normal crew database. I am a custom mail. Please log in to access your profile. Ninja. Kuma. How do I enter my first name? Did that work? Warning, data corruption detected. So now I'm Ninja Shepherd. Okay, I will live with this. Please reconstruct profile. Can I go back? Confirm pre-service history. Please log in to access your profile. How do I go to the other one? Do I tab it? How do I go to last name? How do I, oh, confirm your first name. I did that. And last name is Shepherd. Ninja Shepherd. Ninja Shepherd it is. I identify as male. Yes. Warning. Data corruption detected. Why does this always keep happening? Why do I always have data corruption? Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting. Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Well, that didn't happen. You were born and raised on Min Doi, a small border colony in the Artican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Min Odeo, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted in the military a few years later. That is a lot closer to my history than the previous. Earthborn, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. I this one. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological? Oh God. Soul survivor, during your service a mission you were... Uh, where it went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Yes, that sounds very close. War hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Well, that never happened. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency. Play as female shepherd. It's so much better. No, I identify as male. Let's do it as male. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I think Solar Survivor Confirm is Confirm military specialization. 
Do they have a ninja? Soldiers. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for front lines of firefights. Soldiers get improved health, can train in the use of all weapons types, start with the ability to medium armor, can specialize in heavy armor. Meanwhile, the Vanguard are bionic warriors. They combine bio biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are essentially deadly at short range. They use pistols and shotguns and can specialize in medium armor. The engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni tools. They can decrypt security systems, repair and modify technical equipment. No thank you. Adept are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they use biotic powers to lift, throw objects, shield, squad, or disable enemies. No. Infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can use pistols or sniper rifles and medium armor. I'm not going to lie. When I wanted to go to the military, I wanted to be a sniper. Uh, but... Sentience combine biotic attack abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at expense of combat. Sentience can use light armor. It's more so that... See, soldiers are more well-rounded. Soldiers are more well-rounded. That's the only thing. I don't want to specialize too Confirm much. Confirm facial identification. Ooh, change appearance. How do I do this? No. 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 That's just racist. Alright, let's start working on this. How's my facial structure? Now I'm starting to judge myself. What do I look like? Look like this, or do I look like this? They look like. Do I look like that? Eh. Well, do I look like this? Do I look like that? Like this? Oh, my skin tone is definitely not darker. It's more lighter. My complexion. No, it's too pasty. This guy, scars. Does this guy even look like me? This guy doesn't look like me. What about his hair? Ah, I can live with this. Oh, head. Neck thickness. Oh God. Face size. Cheek width. Cheekbones? Gaunt? What the f Ear size? Why are it? What the f No! My eyes are a little sharper than that. Definitely green. Definitely more on the dark green side. Okay, now we're looking a bit more like me. Uh, the chin I'm gonna suck at. Oh, fuck me, I can't do that. My mouth shape? How the fuck do I know what my mouth shape looks like? Lip size, what the fuck? What the fuck? Close enough, I guess. Nose, how the f How the fuck am I gonna- No, that's mouth size. How the fuck am I supposed to know this? Nose shape? Nose have shapes? I don't know, it's like that, I guess? Like that, I guess? Sort of? Those height? Like that? I don't know. I think when God created me, he just used presets.
I don't know. I did shave last night. And my brows are fuzzy as shit. So they're more like that, but they should be a lot thicker. It should be like this, but thick. Like thick, Slavic. It's more like brown. You guys want me blonde, it's not gonna happen. It's more like me. It's more my color. Facial hair color. That is supposed to be dark brownish. You would think they'd keep this the same color. A lot darker like that. You can also use the default guy. Nah, fuck that shit. Can I do my hair? Style? Alright. Well, that's not a bad hairstyle. I wouldn't mind something like that. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll live with it. Should we do blonde or brown? Blonde or brown? Want to do blonde? Want to do blonde Kuma or do we want to stay brown Kuma? I don't think I'll dye my hair anytime soon. It's not worth gelling at this point. It's too short. Want to do blonde or brown? Come on, I'll give you. I'll give you guys the thing. What the fuck? Did we just reach our donation goal already? Brown? Alright, let's do this. Profile reconstruction complete. Damn straight, we're gonna kill a lot of people. Once you confirm your character complete, we'll be unable to change any settings. I don't know, it's 2019 and people tell me otherwise. Identification confirmed. Auto level up. Whether... Yeah, just whether points are automatically or manually assigned to each time up. Levels, target assist, squad power usage, active subtitle, yes, auto save, yes. Just, just... The, we can always increase difficulty, I guess. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwa. Oh fuck, I didn't start recording. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotions. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Definitely a That's survivor. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Sorry, is there any way we can restart that? In the year 2148, explorers on the Mars discovered the remains of an ancient uh, uh, spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starling new technologies enabling travel to further stars. The basis for the incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called the greatest discovery in human history as the civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effect. It wouldn't be our playthrough if we didn't stumble at the beginning. I wasn't recording the beginning. Fucking classic Kuma. Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. If I was captain of this ship, we'd be doomed. We can't go one live stream without fucking something up. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Giant railgun looking thing. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. I'll pretend I know what that means. Is good. Your captain will be pleased. Who the F are you? I hate that guy. Racist. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Racist. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. You're also a yeah, racist. That is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me, or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. My god, Joker, you're such a dick, mate. Alright. Uh... There's a little bit of frame rate stuff. Like, what's going on here? You guys noticing that? There's a little bit of a frame rate thing. And is it normal? Uh. W A S D keys to move your character. I, I get that. Is this supposed to be a little bit of fuzziness? Is it because I'm on a ship? Or is it because I put the graphic settings too high and this game can't handle it? Gamma? Particle density? High? Okay, so what if I just put it on high? that solve the issue of the fuzziness or is that because we're in space I didn't really do much see when we move it's a little bit of I don't know maybe I'm being paranoid so talk to Joker no that's shooting Joker I didn't want to do that all right how do we how do we move the gun away how do I the talk... captain's waiting for you in the comm room commander how do I put the gun away I don't want to okay no the assault rifle doesn't make things better can we put the guns away? No. God damn it. I'm gonna set a bad impression. Shit. Oh, hit O. Oh, what was that? Play tutorials on how to play Mass Effect for the PC. Okay. Basic controls, combat, left click or press the left mouse button to fire your weapon. Weapons have unlimited information, but generate heat. Your weapon's heat level is displayed in the lower left corner of the screen. Fire in short bursts to avoid overheating. If your weapon overheats, you will not be able to fire it again. Sabotage power makes weapons more likely to overheat. Some enemies can sabotage you. When an enemy gets close, pressing left mouse button will initiate a pistol whip or a rifle butt melee attack. This will cause some injury and may force your enemies back. Right mouse button to toggle in and out of the weapon zooming mode. F to use your squad's first aid power. This heals everyone in the squad but uh, consumes one medi gel per use and has a cooldown period. Training in the first aid talent improves the amount of health restored per use. The medicine talent reduces the cooldown of time in between uses. This combines the skill with all squad members. Pressing R to throw a grenade. I should be careful with that. You can carry a limited number to use it carefully. Grenades stick where they impact and can be remote detonated by pressing the R a second time. Press and hold the space bar to pause the game and open the tactics HUD. Along with three sides of the tactics HUD overlay. Okay. Clicking the weapon icons changes the firearms used by each squad member. There are also hotkeys available. Pistol is F1, shotgun's F2, handy at short range, assault rifles 3, sniper rifles 4, detonating. Oh, okay, I can tell them what to use. Each character could equip all weapon types, but not all characters are trained to use each weapon. If you order a squad member to use a weapon, they're not trained in their accuracy and damage will suffer. I gotta use my brain? Damn. Clicking on power icons orders the use of a combat power. Powers range from Kaiden's biotic abilities to Ashley's combat techniques. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I know who that is. To Tali's engineering skills. Well that's Matt's dog, obviously. Moving the mouse cursor over a power icon will describe its effects. At the top of the two squad members menus are four additional buttons that will allow you to issue commands to them. I think this is one of those things that I'm gonna have to try before I'm gonna oh god. Oh god. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. 
Can I just take away my guns before the commander thinks I'm trying to kill him? I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Check. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Racism! Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I... I didn't mean to offend you. I... I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. What's that? Renegade 2? XP 10? Am I a Renegade? What did I do? Is it the Commander? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Oh, I need to investigate everything. Okay, gotcha. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. 
Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. What, are the Slavs extinct in this world? We all have an unusual tendency to survive impossible odds and do crazy shit. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Wait, so all the technology that we're using, we borrowed from a race that we don't know where they are? Okay. Am I the only one that think that's a horrible fucking idea? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. We're gonna get ourselves extinct, aren't we? Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Ah, oh, now I see why I investigate. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. So, basically it's like we discovered plans to a potential death style we want to keep it for ourselves. Gotcha. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Well, that looks like a potential mission. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. The fuck is it? I've seen enough anime to know where this is going. It's definitely demonetization. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. It's either a hand or a tentacle out, monster. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold.
Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Clearly. Engaging stealth systems. Hey, the music is cool. I'll give them that. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Ah, we so Samuki has been here for a year. Celebrations. Celebrations. It's been an awesome year. It's been great to have you around. I remember you on some of the Danga Romper live streams. Alright. I'm in charge of this mission. Alright, what do we have here? What's this? Shotgun. Pistol. What the hell is that? Good question. What did happen here? Oh God, what happened here? Oh, burnt or crisp, that's for sure. Oh wait, I can't jump? Whoops, my bad. All right, they're burnt. What's going on here? Ah, they're using proper military signs. I like that. Do we have a weapon with the suppressor? Uh oh. God fucking damn it. Gain a level. When you gain a level, press U to open the squad, improve your squad's abilities. Click on the talent to spend points and improve ability. Mouse over a talent for more information. Select squad member to spend your points. Combat armor, damage reduction, increases weapon damage by 2, increases melee damage. Increase health by 6, regen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can't use sniper rifles yet. Hmm. Yes. Sounds good to me. How about this guy? Ah, oh, he's fine. And is that it? Is that it? Have I done? Use the tactics HD to issue orders and command your squad to use powers, and then switch weapons to look around. Press and hold the right mouse button, then... Uh, what am I supposed to do? You? Go there? How do I command you? To issue orders. Use powers. Do 
do I, how do I, that thing, can I grab you, how do I, damn it, I'm gonna have to use that O button, alright, let's see, council races, secondary, planets and locations, citadel and government, uh, player tutorials, tactics hut, space bar to pause the game and open the tactics hut, Along three sides of the tactics hut to overlay the tabs and icons representing. Clicking the weapons icon changes the firearms used by each squad member. There are also hotkeys available. F1, F2, F3, F4. Aha. Uh -huh. Each character can equip all the weapons. Blah, blah, blah. Click on the power icon. Orders the use of combat powers. Powers range from bionic abilities. At the top of the two squad members menus are four additional buttons allowing you to issue squad commands. These commands can also be issued using the HUD by using hotkeys. Move hotkey up arrow, move the location under the target, hold position, attack, rally at the top of the hardest shepherd's powers and hotkeys. Mm. Okay, so if I hold this. Ah, here we go. Gotcha. So I do. Um, I want you to use the sniper rifle. What's this? And I want you. Attack. Where can I send you now? So you get a switch? I want him to use a sniper rifle. Okay, then I want him to move. Can I tell him to move somewhere? Like there? Uh, can I tell him to move? Oh, right. No, not there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right. What? Okay, so he's followed the order. Well, you're an idiot, aren't you? Negative contacts, Commander. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. We've got a mission to do. So what are his current orders? I want to make sure he doesn't get me killed. No, I want you to use your sniper rifle. And can you... Rally with me. You get your sniper rifle out? Good boy. You have equipped an untrained weapon, which is just... Oh, God fucking damn it. So look around, press and hold the right mouse button, and then... then use an assault rifle. Oh, fucking God damn it. Oh, you only know how to use a pistol. There's nothing friendly here. If there were friendlies, they'd be screaming. Watch it. Your corners. Are you injured Not already? Buildings here, Shepard. A lot to... of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. About two seconds away from killing with this guy for ammo, and I don't even need it. Area secured. Shut up. What the hell? Oh, that was a grenade. Whoops. Perimeter clear. Uh, hardened wave. Armor upgrade. Take all. Okay, so let's stop. Kind of wish this was a solo mission, to be honest. This guy isn't really helping. Equip your sniper rifle and shoot the gas bag creature ahead. Press and hold spacebar to pause the game and begin weapon switch. So how do I do it? Where's the thing? I already shot it. What are you talking about? Finally, oh, that so one. Which 
weapons for any squad by mallets. Quick switch is kind of weird. Oh, overkill allows bursts. Okay. Let's see if we can. So I'll get my weapon skill up with a sniper rifle if I keep using it. Works for me. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Works for me. Fire and short bursts to avoid weapon. Oh, I just wasted another grenade. It's alright, I'll get this sorted. Upgrade kit. We should move, Commander. I am moving. To higher ground. Oh, a survivor. You wanna help her or? Nah, she's got this. Or not. It is just like one of my Japanese anime. Year. What are you doing out here? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? What happened here? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? The Beacon. They must have come for the Beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that Beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. So they're basically SJWs. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to Of course, the obligatory off shot. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. What's this? Assault rifle, banshee, wrist control. Uh, pressing option, uh, open. Yeah, I opens the equipment screen, which allows you to switch, modify weapons, armor, and other screens. Oh, okay. Uh. 
How do I modify? It's equipped. Cool. What's this? Equip the pistol Ashley gave you by clicking the pistol icon. Uh, double click the weapon to equip then click the ammo upgrade slot to install your ammo. The ammo upgrade slot is located above the damage bar. Is that the pistol she gave me? Every weapon has at least one weapon and one ammo upgrade. Click the weapon icon to access the weapon upgrades. Click the bullet icon to access the ammo upgrades, okay? I don't have one though. Remember my assault rifle. I like my one. Uh, I don't think we'll need to worry about this for a while. I think we should be okay. Squad for new talent members. Click on a talent to spend weapons and improve the ability. Can I spend them on myself? Overkill allows short bursts of assault fire. I'm not spending my points on you guys. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna get some loot. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. I don't even know what I just picked up. Don't even care. Items, item. Whoa, he just got Vlad the Impaled. They all got Vlad the Impaled. Okay, run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Cover protects you from enemy fire. Really? And who's telling me the waypoint? Move to the edge of the rock and press the rest of my button to fire from cover. Press... Press the route map to zoom on the target. Alright, so if I go like this, I can fire. Or I can do this. Ah! I like that. Use the crouch to stand. You will automatically crouch when behind cover. Ah! Use the left mouse button to pop up and fire from behind cover. That works. And I can flank him from this side. Come out, come out. They're coming. No? Fine, fuck it. Yay! Shut up. Any loot? Give me loot. No loot. Where? What's this? I have no idea what this is. What's this dig site? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright, they're saved. Cool. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Do we get points? Hell yeah. Sets intimidate at school one allows new dialogue. Hmm. Hmm. Unlock sniper rifles. Hmm. I like this. I like dialogue. I like to be truly me. Alright, something about up a hill. Which way do we go up a hill? This way? This way up a hill? Jack and Jill went up the hill. Let's go, go, go. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Oh my it's a good god. Place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Wait, what the f Those aren't mine. Oh god, they're still alive. What the fudge? What did the Geth do to them? 
R to throw a grenade. Wait for time detonation or R to detonate. Throw a grenade at the husk's feet now. Enough zombie moves to go. Let's go. Approach a squad member. Clear. Press E to brief. Eden Prime will never be the same again. We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. My God! All they do is complain. Get on with the mission. That door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Use the WASD keys to advance central core to avoid security systems. Get manual override. What am I doing? What am I doing? What even the hell am I doing? Oh, is that how it works? Open. Humans, thank the maker. Where the f are you? Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What are you, Dune Speaker? What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. Ugh. We could hear the battle outside gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Too afraid to move until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Oh my god. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Someone's I gave clearly him an gone extra to dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy. And dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes Dialogue. up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Huh. Well, that was something. Now, let me get a little bit of the brightness up for you guys. Can I increase the brightness? That'll work for you guys. Yes. What's film grain? That works. Sounds good. Uh, do I get more points? 
damages enemy shields. Oh, I unlocked stuff, but, you know, I don't have it. There we go. That's better. You guys can see more now. What's going on here? Did I pick up everything? What's that? Items. Give me. What's this? Pistol. Take all. I have no idea what these are. Uh, click the filter tab to switch between item types. Select an item from the list available and click the equip to equip it. Click the Omni Gel to permanently convert the selected weapon into Omni Gel. Click on an equipment's upgrade to upgrade. Wait, so I've got the Banshee 3. So my one's better. So I can Omni Gel it. Yes. Omni Gel it. So it's basically junk. All oh, right. All oh, right, 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 right. Ah, oh, right, I get it. And what about upgrade? Can I upgrade my assault rifle? No? Nothing to upgrade it with. Who needs a helmet? All right, let's move. Well, that didn't last long. Let's see what he can do. Saren. Nani? Nani? Lilas. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Why do I get the feeling he's about to try to kill him? I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, overkill power to shoot rapidly what and accurately. Map overkill with quick shots. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. So what do I do? Uh, left click and hold the power icon, drag the power to the quick slot bar and release the mouse button. You can use power in game by pressing quick slots. Where's the power? each other F think we got him commander look at the size of it lol hmm so our guy's dead Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. 
Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Protean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport called? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. Did I just get a pistol out of this? Hell yeah. How do I pick it? Was it I? Or was it? Stinger? Oh, hell yeah, that's good. And I don't need this. Omni Gelet. Omni Gelet. Omni Gelet. Omni Gelet. Well, that works. I actually like that. I can actually get weapons from people since I have dialogue options. Isn't that awesome? And I can also threaten people. Like, the reason you would threaten someone for information is no one is willing to give up good information for free, so you have to threaten them a little bit. Even if it's just a little. Commander, it's Nihilus. Ah, fuck. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. Wait, we share the same inventory? We knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. Whoops. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. 
The attack came a few minutes later. Hm. Since you share your inventory with your party members, you should be able to turn them into Omni Gel. Lol. You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. We could sell I, weapons? Oh I my sneak god. off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You Shit. survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up for them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. So what weapon did I just get? High explosives? Hell yeah. So... Grenades? What's this? Light armor. Grenade launcher. High explosives. Hell yeah. Ooh, a combat sensor. Nothing. Nothing. No. Alright, that works. Should be alright. Alright, let's go killing some people. Press down arrow to command your squad to leave cover and follow you. Kaiden to throw a bionic throw on the Geth Destroyer. Press and hold space bar to begin. Okay. Kaiden. Throw. And him. Where was his throw? Sabotage. Yes. Can he throw the thing? Oh, he did it. Okay, cool. This will be fun. What the hell? 
that's a lot of them. Uh, press right arrow to command your squad to hold their current position. Here comes a close fire. Peekaboo. Can I get behind cup? Damn it. Damn it. Do I get an upgrade now? Take all. Uh, what do I do? Nothing. Where's my upgrade screen? My upgrade is L? No? Shit, how do I open the upgrade? O? No. Shit. Uh, uh, U? There we go, U. Okay, cool. Uh, I might need a shield boost. Still a portion of my shield even when I'm under fire. Cool. Weapon damage by one increase, melee damage, no increase, health by four, it regenerates three health, that sounds good. And... Yeah, more health regen is always good. Sprint short distances, I'm alright. Oh, I'm smooth for a sniper, for a soldier. I've done a lot of... Yeah. Um, it should be all right. I always like playing snipers in FPS games, so I should be okay. I'll get better at sniper rifles, but I'll mostly use the assault rifle. That's why I want to be a soldier. Motherfucker! Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. This motherfucker. What the fuck is that? What, he has telekinesis now? What? God damn it. Here we go. They're AI, so they don't really care if they die. I mean, I care if I die. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Wow, thank you for that. How am I moving so quickly? Be covering me. Wow, he moved up really quickly. Where's 
what you got. Is that gold? Done. Are they gonna come in or something? Weapon heat go down a bit. Combat music has stopped. Should be okay. Good. Seem to be good. Seems to be a crate. Let's clear the crate. Look at all. All right, that's cool. Going the right way. I hope so. Anything behind here? Since when am I playing Sword of the Hedgehog? I have no idea how he moved so quickly. Like, none. No, this doesn't really lead anywhere. Just want to make sure there's nothing cool that I missed over here. Ah! Would you look at that? Upgrades, of course. That's, that's, as soon as I see a bridge like that, I know there's a hidden item. I've played enough video games to know that. I don't care if people die in a video game, it's just the game interactions, I guess. Storage locker. Let's do it. Easy. Hey, Cole. What's up here? Nothing. I think we're going the right way. I'd be shocked if we weren't. Does he move quicker with no weapons? You'd hope so. Take it all. So where do we go now? That's the real question. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Do we go deeper towards the ship? Because I'm guessing we're going the right way. Go here. Oh, this thing. Gotcha. Oh, that's a transporter. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. What are you doing? What, am I getting pulled in now? Shepard! What the fuck? No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! Ah, crap. You got our beacon broken. Oh, god damn it. Damn it, Ashley. Wait, that was a ship? Looks like a hand. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
So I guess you didn't want me to use the beacon? Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. That's it? Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. The what now? The what now? The what now? Am I paying for this shit? Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs>